channel Southern Yankee. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox my mix and match. I'm probably not going to have time to try on because we got to get on with our day. Um, so this might not get posted until probably Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, I'm guessing. Uh, but mix and match is also a monthly or, yeah, it's monthly, monthly styling service. I think you can do it quarterly if you ask them, but I do it monthly and it, um, it's more of a boutique styling service. And so I there is a take a chance box and there is a go for it style in a box and that's what I have. Mine is much more in line with your typical tr stitch fix where it's you get um, several pieces of items. They normally send you more than five. I, I mean, I get like seven, I've gotten 10, I've gotten a bunch. So, um, and then you, if you keep five, you get 25% off. And for a limited time, you can, it's been going on for a while, but you can use the code TRYUS20OFF. Um, Try I'll put the code below. I think it's TRYUS20OFF. And instead of paying $25, you'll get your first three months. You do have to sign up for a full three-month subscription, meaning that you, you agree to get three boxes from them for $5 a month. And then you only keep what you want. They do give you a mailer to send anything back that you don't like. Man, they got this box really wrapped up. This one was a little surprise. Um, I guess I should have known it was coming, but I just have been really, really busy. And so if she, I don't know if she sent me any, a note or anything, this, this go round, but she might've, and I might've missed it. Um, I have a lot of emails in my inbox right now to respond to them backed up. And with all of the like Black Friday stuff, all the emails from people that I want to talk to are getting like lost. So, oh, and then we have tissue paper in here this month red <laughs> oh it's so beautiful so they have a little bit of different ribbon this go around so if I can get this out of here it looks like I got three bundles oh my goodness okay look at guys talk about Christmas present right here look at all this honestly my boyfriend's like what do you want for Christmas pay for one of my clothing boxes you know that'd be cool you get some items that I like. And then you get all of the information in here that you need, including your mailer. I'm just going to put that back in the box. And, okay. She has it separated into outfit one, outfit two, some dresses and a jacket. And it's, sorry, that was Chopper knocking stuff down. Chopper, stop. All right, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Enjoy. Also, speaking of holidays, do you want to skip December and wait till January or just keep trucking along? Because I, with all the boxes, it gets a little pricey. I've been trying to find, like, a better angle, and I can't, the sun's, like, coming in, and I can't. I should have done this a little earlier. So, um, she has everything in here. Okay, she says, I'm dying to know about jeans. This is our first order with this company. They run small but seem to have a lot of stretch. Looking forward to seeing what you think of them. Um, oh, and there's a sale price on here too, um, which is really cool. Um, let's see. You also can do a three month payment plan with them, which is one of the most unique things about the styling service. There's no other styling service I know of that you can, that you can do that at. So you can make it into three payments, which is really nice. And then you have your invoice and it looks like I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine items in this box um, so a little pricey but I usually don't keep the whole box anyway but I always do find stuff with mix and match that I like so I'm gonna pull you guys in I know there's a little bit of sun hitting my face not a ton I can do about it so let's get into this and see what we have And I always reuse the ribbon. So it doesn't go to waste. It goes to Christmas presents or birthday presents. So pretty. And there's a sticker that says, thank you for letting us style you on it. So interesting about the jeans because she said the jeans run small, um, which I'm happy to give her feedback, but you guys know I'm losing weight. In fact, I didn't get on the scale this morning, but I know I lost my weight. So I'm going to show up. I'm going to stand up and show you guys. So here is... My side view. I still have a little bit, but nothing like I used to have. I don't know if you guys can see. And I got kitty hair still all over me. I got a foot roll. But see, I'm like definitely losing weight. And I have went down a size, I think, in jeans. So it'd be good to, to try these if they're running small. And I'll give her feedback on that. 
Okay. So, the first item, and then they also do have like, which is nice, they have the prices right on here. Oh, and they got new little, look, they got new little tags that say mix and match. They used to be like just pink with like a design on them. Um, this is 42 and it says a size medium and this is by Gilly. And she knows I like the Gilly dresses and it's long sleeve or three quarter sleeves. This is like a little wrap front. This is probably going to be darling. Um, really, really cute. I can see this with, actually I got like little maroon boots that might look cute because that's maroon and navy in there and some tights. That would be really cute. And that's $42, so it's not a bad price for their dress. The next piece is a size large, and it's $50, and this is also by Gilly. And this is also a dress. So this is navy. Again, it looks like, I think these are three-quarter length sleeves. Let me stand up and show you guys. So it's got a cute little it, it comes in here and it's like got darts here. So that's probably going to be a little fit and flare. And then it has the bottom edge. That's pretty too. This is a different material. Um, it's still stretchy, but it's not the cotton material. It's more of a spandexy rayon kind of a material. Polyester or something. This looks promising. Look at this. All right. This is by 143 Story, and it's in a size small, and it's $42. I love the colors. It's cold shoulder. I don't know about what I feel like for cold shoulder. So it's got a little cowl neck, and I think I would have maybe almost loved this more if it didn't have the cold shoulder, and it's got the little, like, varsity stripes on it, and it's very cute. We'll try it on. We'll see what it looks like on. Maybe that makes all the difference. I wonder if it would look cute with these earrings probably all right these are I don't know which pants she was talking about were the ones she wanted me to try um, let's see these are a new brand I've never tried oh no 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 they're not these are Liverpool so this isn't it these are a size 8 Liverpool. These are $89. So I am excited to try them. They're a beautiful plum color. And they're a work, a work pant. And they're a size down from my normal size. So we'll try those on and see how they fit. And see if they fit. If I'm there yet, we'll find out. Okay, then these are super cute. These are by Q2 Unique Denim. Now these... Must be the one she's talking about. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Are they not the cutest? So I don't know if you guys can see. It's green. The embroider is like a lighter lime green and a dark green. And it's got... Oh, let me come in. Oh, here we go. So it's got green and dark green. It's got crystals and it's got pearls. Those are so cute. These are only $55. Now these are a size 12. I guess because they run small, she sent me in a size... 12. Um, they are stretchy. With my weight loss, I probably needed an 8, or I mean a 10 in these. I hope these fit, and if they're loose, I'm going to see if she can exchange them, because look, those are so adorable. I'm really excited. They look like they're going to fit, so um, maybe they are like junior. It says extra large on here, and size 12 on here. So, I'm excited to try those on and see if they fit. Okay, so that was the first bundle. And then we have one more bundle. Alright. The next thing is... Oh, that's funny. Okay, so this is the um, Gilly dress in burgundy. So, you guys know that I kept a Gilly dress in green. Same one. And then yesterday, I got the Gilly dress in with the burgundy print um, from Natalie Attired. This is the same dress, which we know looks well on me and it's a good size. This is a medium, she had sent me a large in the other one. Um, and it's in just a solid burgundy color. So I know this is gonna be cute and it's gonna fit. It's just, I don't know if I need three dresses of the same style. Um, it's a good style for me and they're all different colors. So I don't know, you guys might have to tell me, but 
and you saw the way the other one fit. The large fit nice on me. This is a medium. We'll see how this fits. And that's $48. So the difference in pricing for the same dress is that Natalie attired was a dollar more. This is a sweater in a size small, and this is $54. And it looks small, kind of small, but it's cute. And I do like my sweaters a little more fitted. And it's navy, gray, and white. It looks cozy. So, and it's very, like, squishy soft. It's really... I wonder what it's made out of. This is by Gilly as well. Uh, let's see if I can see what it's made out of. Because it's really neat. Okay, so it's acrylic nylon polyester. This is a hand wash item. So I don't know about that. I'm getting fine with I can wash things in delicate if I remember to pull them out um, and not dry them. You know, then they are doing okay. But sometimes I don't remember or some, sometimes other people are flipping laundry when I'm not home. So they don't necessarily know. Okay, so this is by Wannabe. I've never heard of this brand. Size small, this is $46. This is neat looking. So this is a striped sweater as well, and it's got mustard and gray and white and burgundy and pink. And it looks really cute. So we'll see how that fits. This almost looks like, maybe that's why she sent me a small. This looks oversized. So, some nice pieces here for fall. And then the final piece looks like a jacket, which looks really cool. So, my rain jacket that I gotten from Liverpool from um, Stitch Fix sliced down the back. Like, somebody took a knife. And I thought, well, when I sliced the boxes open, but that, that didn't do it because when I opened it up, that was on the bottom and I opened it from the top. Somebody else did that. Um, so... I had to just email them. So this is a really pretty color. It's a beautiful burgundy. And it's got ties in on the side to bring you in a little bit. It's very lightweight and thin. It is a rain jacket. And it's by Day to Day Blue Pepper in a size medium. And I really like this. So here it is again. It's got weird pockets though. Why are the pockets like that? So your hands have to go like in this way instead of just putting them this way. You have to lift this. To put your, that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Um, and I do use my pockets, so we'll look at this and see. Um, Stitch Fix, I'm waiting on a, I'm re waiting for them. They'll probably have me send that one back and send me a new one. Um, and I really do like that one. So I don't know if I'll need two jackets. So, but we'll try this on and we'll check it out. So that are those are the items from my Mix and Max. So stay tuned. I'll be doing the try on probably in a couple days. You'll see it in a minute. Hey guys. Okay. So I'm going to try the dresses on. I have the first Gilly dress on in a medium. Um, I have a large in the other one. I'm bloated today. So ignore. But it's cute and it fits and it's fine. So, and I actually had, I wore this one today. The other one that I had gotten, that's the same one, but a floral. So I had on with this one, I had the uh, tights and booties on, and I had, if you can see that, I had that little um, cardigan, color cardigan with it. It was really cute. So this one is the Gilly. Here it is. Don't mind the mess behind me. We are going to be putting Christmas decorations up. So we got a lot of boxes. So here it is. Voila. All right, so I like this one. This is really cute. There's a side view. What do you guys think about this? And now I'm gonna try the other dress on real quick and I like that one a lot. So that's a little bit different. Um, so hang on and we'll be right back. Okay, here is this one. This one's really cute, guys. I like this. This is another Gilly dress. A little tie front, good for bloat days, and comes right down to my knee. Looks cute with the little, it's a lot of monochrome, a lot of burgundy. I just kept on my burgundy tights and boots. Stop smelling the new clothes, Nitro. This is what he does. Stop it! Stop! No one's stop, Kenzie. Okay, there we go. So this is cute. So there's a little bit of a closer view. I like this. I think this is different and very, very cute. It's nitro snorting. 
All right, so that is it for the two dresses. Both super cute. I like them a lot. Um, I'm actually wearing my Kendra Scott necklace, a mood changing necklace I got from Roxbox. I love this piece. And you guys, might... sorry, you might remember these from Front Door Fashion that I kept. All right, so I'm gonna try on some pants and tops for you. So here is this little cowl neck sweater. It is super cozy and super soft. I just wish it didn't have the cold shoulder. I'm not a fan for cold shoulder in the winter. Um, it is see-through. You can see I have a dark, I have a dark bronze, so um, you can see through that. So you need to wear a lighter bra with this. Also, this is really long, so I think personally that this would be better worn with leggings than jeans. But I have them paired with jeans. So I'm going to show you, and then we'll we'll talk about the jeans. Okay, so. It's thin material. Again, a, a flat legging with no, you know, just a pull-on legging is going to be better because you won't see all of this. Um, I wonder if I just wrinkle it up short, what that looks like. Is that better? Ken's, is that better? Just like that? Rather than pulled down? All right, so anyway, but there's this. You guys let me know what you think. It's very cozy. It's very cute, actually. I think it's cute. Kenzie hates it, but I do like it. I, I do wish it wasn't cold shoulder ish. Um, it's getting very cold here. It was frost on the window, so and I can't wear it to work. Um, so, but it would be cute for the weekend. I don't know why he's doing that. All right, so these pants. So um, she, these are a new brand for them, and she wanted to see how they fit. Uh, these are a size 12. She said they fit big. I would agree. I would say they fit like my old 10s and they are big on me because I would need, I'm going to need an eight. Um, so let me, well, let me show to you first. So I don't know how cute you're seeing the bottom of them. So they are full length and they've got this beautiful, beautiful embroidery on the bottom. I can see these with a, like a little sexy black heel for the holidays and a neat little top. Um, the back, this part's real loose on me. There's a big gap here and Probably, probably about exactly what I lost in extra on the side. So they stay up just fine. You know, you can go up one or one or down one in a size pants and be fine. But since I'm already down a size, I would probably need to drop these a size down because we're going to be losing more, and then they're really not going to fit. So it'll be too big. And I wouldn't. These are so beautiful. I'd want them to fit for a while. So really, really, really love them though. So I might exchange these if they have one size down. Um, so I, and I missed a dress. There's another dress in there. So I'll try that on in a minute, but I got another sweater I'm going to try on and then I'm going to have another pants and sweater. I do have a raincoat. We can try that on now. My raincoat trench I got from Stitch Fix had a big slice down the back that I didn't know about. My daughter found it and, um, I contacted the company and they said they would, First, they sent me a refund. They said they didn't have any more, and they apologized, said it's not their level of quality. And then I got an email later saying, hey, we found you one. So they are sending me a replacement. So I have a teal trench coat for rain. So this might be redundant for me, but let's try it on. Got a lot of buttons and stuff. This is proving a little hard to open. There we go. All right, so this is this is lighter than the one that I have. This would be maybe a good one for the spring springtime, and it's got a mix of buttons and a zipper. I don't know if it's gonna get over my boobs. It's a little. There we go. And then you could also button it up if you want. Well, here it is. See this? I don't like this. I don't like how the bottom sits and I don't like these pockets. You can't just put your hands in the pocket. You have to open the flap this way and put your hand in here, which is weird. Um, I don't like the way the pockets are. You guys see that? It opens this way. Why didn't they just make pockets you could slide your hands into? 
I'm gonna pull it back and put your. I don't know. That's kind of a weird design. So I like here. You can cinch this in. Um, it's it's a little cinched in, but you can make it more. So I do like that. So you can draw it in a little bit. What do we have going here? Booby flaps. Okay, so these are. <laughs> can you see the booby flap? warmers. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe your cell phone. I don't know. Maybe you just want to hold on to your cell phone. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Uh, this jacket will be a no for me, but um, it's lightweight. If you don't mind this, I'm just being weird about it. If you don't mind the way the pockets are here and that you have bo booby pockets, maybe you might like this. <laughs> I don't know. All right. All right, so this one's going to be a no. All right, hang tight. I am going to let me back up and show you the whole thing again. I'll, uh, I don't think I should do that. All right, I got a sweater coming up next. Okay, and here is more of that kind of color blocking, which we're seeing a lot of this season. Um, and this has got navy, gray, and white. And then, of course, white at the bottom. Hi, buddy. It's very comfortable. I will say it's a cozy, cozy sweater. I don't know, because I'm just, I like it. I kind of like it. I'm not a big, um, I don't know how I feel about this color blocking. I haven't really kept anything because nothing's really spoken to me. I like this part. I like the color blocking right here. I don't know about this stuff. Um, and I'm not sure about the white. So what do you guys think about this? But it's really comfortable. And I'm just, I'm wearing them still with the same cute little, they're cute with the jeans. Okay, so I'm gonna try this outfit on next and then I've got a, one more dress to do. So this sweater is really oversized. Um, this is something I could go down a size in. Um, it's pretty and it's very soft. Again, it, the sleeves were long and kind of big, so we rolled this one up twice, this one up once, just to give you an idea. And like I said, it's really big. I mean, it's got, it's got a lot of extra room in it, so this would definitely be something that you could size down unless you like it in the oversized. And then I have the Liverpool pants on. These are a size down from my normal size in a size eight, and they're fitting really good. They're, this is right at the size where I'm at right now as an eight. So there's still room here. They're not super tight. Um, these are a good length. I need work pants. A lot of my work pants don't fit anymore. They're really loose. So, cause I have tens in almost all my work pants. So I'm getting to a point where I really just do need to buy something for work. So these might be a good option for me. I don't know about this top because I like it. I like the colors of it. I just feel like it's not very flattering. Just maybe just because it's too oversized. So um, I like the, the way the other sweaters fit a little bit better. All right, so I have one more. And also I don't like the mustard up near my face. I don't feel like, I feel like it washes me out a little bit. If it, I think the, the burgundy was up on my face and make all the difference in the world. But anyway, all right, we're gonna do the um, dress, which is the last piece. Here is this other ghillie dress. I like this one a lot. Navy blue with pink flowers and a little pink hem. Um, it, this one is a large. Um, it's really stretchy. I don't think, I think I could have sized down on this too. Honestly, maybe I will if I keep this one because I don't think a medium to a large in this one's gonna make that much of a difference. And then I can wear it longer. So maybe I'll size this one down. That's fine. I just want, if I'm gonna invest in clothes right now, I wanna be able to have a longer wear time with them, but I really like this. Let me come in here and show you. Here's the, the pattern on it. It's really pretty. They're just like, you see that little pink flower bunches, like little bouquets. And really, really cute. Yeah, I like this one. I forgot how much this was. Okay. I'll be right back with a recap. OK, 
Okay, now that I'm done being weird and silly, my daughter asked me what was wrong with me today. Um, so, good box. I liked a lot of the items in it. Some of them were not hitting it for me and some were. So let's talk about this. So, loving this. I think though, size-wise, I wanna go down to a medium. It fits me now, but there is some extra material in it. It lays fine, but as I lose weight, it is going to be big and I'd love to be able to wear this longer. It's really pretty. The price of this one, and the other, and I know the ghillie fits me in a medium because the other ones are medium. Um, it's $50 for this one right here. So I'm leaning towards keeping this, but doing an exchange. Pants. Um, I need work pants. So, and these are an eight and they fit me really, really nice. I'm struggling every morning waking up trying to find some pants. I, I have found a brand called Beta Brand and they are like dress pants, yoga pants, and I was able to find my style in a 10 petite and those fit, they're kind of more like legging-ish, legging -ish, kind of like this a little bit, and those fit nice. So I have those two pair, but, and I have a black pair and a um, navy pair. So this might be nice to get, so I'm considering these. This one was really oversized, and I thought it was a medium, it's a small, so um, my comfort level with this would be to go down to an extra small. These are, must just really, really run big. I'm not leaning towards keeping this one. I'm not in love with this one. I don't think that I like the mustard so close to my face because it pulls out the yellow tones. Um, obviously, if we put the pinks and the burgundies near my face, that's a better color in my opinion. I think this washes me out a little bit. So, But this was really, really big, and so I think I'm going to send this one back. It's a pretty sweater though, and I do like the colors in the sweater. Okay, so these jeans I'm torn about. I love, love them. I do need to go down a size in these. These fit me at my old 10. They fit me like a 10. They're a 12 and they fit like a 10. But I need to go to, uh, down to a 10 that would fit like an 8. So these are running about a size small. Um, and she did say they ran small. But I mean, goodness, look at those. So beautiful for the holidays. I wonder how those would hold up wash-wise. All those pretty crystals. I don't know. So... But I like this, but again, I'm going to need to exchange them. Um, the bottoms are super, super skinny. And so <laughs> these are looser on the top for me in the waist, but they're pretty tight here. So my dilemma is what if I get them in the size down and they fit great in the waist, but then I can't get them over my calves. And then now, so I'm thinking about those, but I do really, really like those. I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. This was very comfortable. This is also a small. So, um, this is a gilly small, and it's it, these must just be made to be oversized. Love your opinions on this. What did you think? I'm not sure how I feel about the color blocking. So, um, but I do like the feel and the stretch of this. It was very super comfortable. All right, then this one my daughter did not like. I actually did like it. So I'd love. I'd like how it. It felt and it was comfortable and I think it's kind of sporty too and I mean it's not a bad idea for the weekend I think it'd be fine you know something like this it's cute I love the color she probably sent it to me because she knows I have a soft spot for pink so um, my stylist by the way is Anna in case any of you want to request her and I'll put the link down below it um, I didn't go into even explaining what mix and match is but I don't think because I did the first part of the video like two days ago they have two different boxes and I have um, the one where it's like you, you they send you several pieces if you keep five you get a 25% discount they also have a take a chance box where you pay like I think with tax or something it's around 105 you pay that up front you get um, two to four items valued at at least $175 in there if you and when your box comes it's considered paid in full if you love it all if you don't they'll credit you um, or you charge you if there's a difference but um, I did that one and I liked that fine but I like this better I like being able to not invest up front um, and, and kind of try the clothes on see if I like them first and then send them back the other box is great though because if you do have a good stylist and I could do it at this point they know my style pretty well then you're getting a significant discount with the um, take a chance box so you know if you think about it you spend 100 bucks your box is worth 175 at least that's a big discount so that's a that's a good deal too all right and then the final one is the little rain jacket this is $55 oops that's not the final one I lied some more in my lap um, I'm not gonna get this the pockets are weird on this my daughter said it looked nice on 
Um, the pockets would really aggravate me with this one. So this one's going back just because I just know myself and I know that that would aggravate me. This one I'm thinking of keeping too. This little dress is 42 and I like it. And it's cozy, it's cutesy, it's got the wrap around the tummy for days when I'm not feeling the best and it's, I thought it was flattering. So I like both of those dresses. This one is also cute. The wrap style in the front is a good style for me being busty. Um, I do have two of the exact same thing though. I have a green teal, like an emerald green one, and then I have the one that I wore today, which is also maroon, but it has a floral pattern to it. So um, if I was to grab this as the fifth item, I like it and I would wear this. So um, I would get this if it was my fifth item to get my 25% discount. So this is a maybe too. So, and that one is 40, eight dollars okay so that is my mix and match box really great box really tough choices ahead of me um, a lot to decide on so let me know let me know in the description box below what you guys think and uh, what your favorite pieces f were from this box and I think that's it and then obviously if you haven't already consider subscribing to my channel I do lots of unboxings of all different clothing and beauty and fashion and fashion and makeup and sometimes we do um, you know, makeup looks when we do the boxy charm, we do the looks for that. And I think that's it. So we are going to begin unboxing our Christmas tree because our Christmas tree uh, died on us. It just, it's been, a, it's a couple years old. I don't know how many years we've had it and the none of the lights, no matter what we did, none of the lights were working. And so um, it was in pretty rough shape. So we ordered a new one from Wayfair and it, I ordered it on what Sunday, Kenzie? I think Sunday I ordered it and it came in today, two days, free shipping. Um, these lamps are from Wayfair. Love them. One of my favorite purchases. This pullout, this uh, couch has a pullout bed also from Wayfair. And then I've got two um, coffee end tables, well not coffee tables, end tables for my bedroom in white wood that I also love. And those are from Wayfair. So I love buying stuff on Wayfair. The prices are right and they ship it free and it's an easy way for me to decorate decorate my home and I've been really, really pleased with their products. So <clears throat> that's uh, that's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna put up the tree, at least get it standing and plugged in, maybe do a little fluffing and then we're gonna watch some Hallmark videos and then we're going to bed and going back to the grind, going back to work tomorrow. Um, I am doing a little bit of vlogging for you so you guys might see some of my decorating in process as well, um, probably by the weekend. So I'll see you guys all soon. Take care, have a great, great rest of your week, bye.